In this lightboard session, you will learn about RAG. RAG stands for Retrieval Augmented Generation, and it's used in order to give LLM models like ChatGPT enough information to give you a better response. Let's see how it works. Typically, when we use LLM models like ChatGPT, we would have a user interface like this, where the user can write his query, asking, for example, how can I do this? And then he can specify some instruction. So that's the typical user interface for interacting with an LLM model like ChatGPT. What happens then behind is that a query will be sent to the ChatGPT. So here we would have our LLM model, our large language model like ChatGPT. ChatGPT will get the question and the instruction, and then it will give a response to the user. The query is typically composed of what is called as a prompt. And there we'll find information about the user input, the instructions, temperature, and so on. So that will be used within the query in order to send that query to the ChatGPT. So ChatGPT was trained on data available on the internet. It does know a lot about that uh, data exposed on the internet, but it was not trained on all data available on the internet. In addition to that, ChatGPT doesn't know about your internal documents within your enterprise or within your organization. Organizations would have their own databases. They might have very large databases and they have multiple uh, documents, internal documents that are not available on the internet. These documents could be like PDF documents, markdown or any other type of uh, text documents. So here the user have two options. If he asks ChatGPT about some information that are available only within those uh, documents, then if the user knows exactly which document, then he can just take the content of that document and then add it into the user input. So he tell ChatGPT, please, here are the documents that contains the response. Please analyze those documents and answer me to this question. ChatGPT then will get those documents, will analyze it, and then he will give the right answer to the user. But now if the user doesn't know exactly which document contains that information because here we might have thousands or even millions of these documents then here we have a second solution that is using rag retrieval augmented generation so what we'll do here is that we'll index those documents and then we'll be able to retrieve and search within these documents and send those documents to ChatGPT. how this works so simply we'll use what we call embedding model there are many available embedding models available like the one provided by uh, ChatGPT or by OpenAI that is called embedding model 3, large or small. And what embedding model will do is that it will ingest those PDF documents and then it will produce vectors. It will index those PDF documents. So it will create multiple vectors for each document to have its own vector. So document number one would have a vector and the vector is a representation, is a mathematical representation about each document. A document here might be either a text or paragraph, a page. So the content of the vector will be just numbers between one, uh, one and minus one. So it could be something like 0 0.31 for example, minus 72, 0.93 and so on. So this is very large uh, vector. Then the same thing will be for document number two. It would have another vector representation and so on until we hit here document number n. So at this step, our documents now are indexed using those vectors. Now we are ready to search within these documents. So what will happen next is that we'll take the user query and we'll go to create an embedding for it. So here we'll get another vector that is the user vector or the vector for the query of the user. So again, that vector have the same representation right here. And what we want to do here is that reading this user query, we want to get the documents that are related to that user query. So 
will search within those documents. We'll perform that search operation using those vectors and those indexes. And because here documents and this user query are all represented within the vectors, we'll go just compare the user vector to the vectors from the documents. So we'll take this vector and then we'll compare with all of these vectors. And the result of this comparison is that here we'll get the similarities. So here we'll get the distance between the user vector and those uh, document vectors using the cosine function, for example. So the result here would be the similar vectors. So we can decide whether to get the top uh, two, three or five similar vectors, for example. And then because each vector is represented by a document, so that will allow us to search also within the documents. And here we'll get at the end the similar documents. Of course, here we should save in a database the document and also the vector that is related to that document. That could be achieved using documents or databases like Cosmos DB or Azure AI Search, Postgres, and many more. So now that we have those similar documents, we'll go to simply add those documents to the prompt or to the query by the user. So this way, the query will contain the user query and also the documents so that ChatGPT will get the full context and then it will give back the response to the user. I hope this was helpful. Thank you.